Hi guys and welcome to a different video on my channel. I've been doing a lot of discussion videos recently as regards to, uh, well, di different stuff in the game, whether it be players, legends and whatnot. And as FIFA 15 is the hype at the moment, we've all seen the gameplay trailer uh, release yesterday, uh, but nothing much foot related apart from the fact there is a loan system about to be uh, implemented if you do get the early release and uh, I think you get five games on loan with uh, Messi. But like someone did tweet me, there is a high possibility that you'll get in for five games of Messi and then you'll disconnect in the game four out of five. So you only get to use him once. That's just the way the EA servers have been and probably will continue to be so. So if you guys want the other team coins, make sure you go and check out onefifa.com. Their link can be found down below in the description. If you use discount code Bates and they've got you can get 5% off as well. They've got a massive sale on, so make sure you do check them out. They are reliable and instant. If you want the MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes as well, make sure you check out G2A and we can try and smash over 4,000 likes guys that'll be absolutely awesome so in a brief discussion with a few other YouTubers the other day we always want new stuff in the game whether it be um decent servers which is a uh, which is one which everybody wants but there's also new features which a lot of people would like to see implemented especially on ultimate team as I know a m majority of my subscribers only play ultimate team so this is what I've come up with uh, ideas in my head obviously there's a lot more out there and agree with me whether you would like to see them as well so the main one which I would love to see to be able to work with other youtubers and whatnot and even if you've got four mates you can, a 2v2 and this isn't where you would add a guess. This is 2v2 where there would be four gamer tags involved. Say, uh, for example, me and A9 Skills versus Finch and Zwayback. That's just an example I'm using. But it'd be, it'd be awesome if we could do a 2v2 seasons. And uh, these menus are lusciously done by a great designer as well, which is Daily Render. There is a link down to his Twitter down below. He does some awesome graphics and I can't thank him enough for making these. The second one is a special card tournament. If you guys remember back to FIFA 12, I think it was, there was a tournament near the end where you played FIFA, uh, played tournament, if you won the tournament, you got an inform Honda, a rare card that was the only way you could get it, apart from obviously buying it on the market. But EA have not done anything like this for a long time, and I really miss the fact that you can't get players off tournaments. It would be awesome. You'll play a tournament, you could win special players, whether it be special informs, like if they did a team of the week, and... Um, the only way you could get one of the players is by obviously just winning the tournament. It would be good. Even if it was a discard player, you know, it would be so fun to uh, to play in. The uh, second round is customise the kits. This is a simple one. It's uh, This takes me back to the PES 6 days where you would do the Master League offline. Uh, you'd be able to play uh, with kits you change. If you didn't like the kit, you'd go and change it. Obviously, that would add a lot to the game itself. Uh, sponsorships and stuff like that. You could, I would just love to rock a plain black night kit with a B87 logo on. That was how simple I would love my kits. But it'd be a nice feature to add it into Ultimate Team. The next one would be able to change customised boots, which is where you'd be able to change a player's boots. But obviously, you have got partnerships and sponsorships with like some Messi who wears Adidas boots but it'd be nice if you could change all these things on the certain players in the game. Now the next screen you will be seeing on the screen now is the collection book. Now the collection book was a series run um with myself, uh, Itani, Skills and Nep. It was a fun series. We aimed to collect it. It was back in FIFA 09, but some, for some reason EA removed it. And the feature was whether you packed a player, you would be able to... Uh, if you packed a player, you could use them in your team. But then, if you packed a player for the second time, you could choice uh, to either list them on the transfer market or store him into a sticker book, basically. But that's not the way... I would want to do it. The way I'd want to do it is a collection book where it would be like a sticker book, but all the players in your club would be uh, on sticker pages. But the one extra thing that I would love as a part of the collection book is the... Um it's obviously Generations. If you guys don't know what Generations is, even this time of FIFA, everybody goes onto the uh, for not the forums, the uh, web app, and you're able to have a look at players you've previously had on all the FIFAs, and you can build insane teams with them. So, like, you could have a FIFA 12 Silver El Sharari linked up with a FIFA 12 Inform Ibrahimovic at AC Milan, and then also you could have a FIFA 14 Ibarbo up front, and all of them would get chemistry. The teams, the figures, the dreams you could have with that would be absolutely um, ridiculous and a collection books a massive thing I would love to see back the next one 
Obviously, it is my club, and that that's, uh, runs coincide with the collection book as well. The last ones now are the transfer market. Now, the transfer market's completely fucked. It has been since the start. This was one of the features I was loving the look of when I initially did see um, FIFA 14 at Gamescom. We were able to we were able to have a look at Foot 14. And have a look at the transfer market and the name search has been glitchy as fuck all year um, and it's not been uh, working and that's mainly down to uh, auto buyers being on the servers and messing up for everybody but with that said the addition I would like to see onto the transfer market is one thing and that is the fact you could search a player who's got an informed version so if you clicked on Eden Hazard uh, who's got an 88 rated version on this year you'd be able to search for an 89 rated and it would only show up them because there's a few times where a lot of people do get caught out with buying the wrong players whether it be the winter upgrades the informs the second informs the third informs and the team of the seasons it's a very simple thing but it's something which would make everyone's life a lot easier if the transfer market was uh, hooked up but I want to know what features you would love to see on Foot 15, guys. Let me know in the comment section below whether you agree with any of the choices I picked, whether you want me to do uh, another video with a few more of your uh, choices as well. Um, but these are stuff I would like to see implemented. Probably not going to be implemented, but it's it's nice to dream, in it? Everyone loves to dream. So, guys, smash that like button. Comment down below as I'm really curious to see what you guys think. Make sure you check out Daily Render for doing all these uh, screenshots for me. He's an absolute awesome graphic designer. So, comment, subscribe, like. Like, and uh, until next time guys, see you all later. Mostra até onde você vai.